Hey there, football fans. Ever wondered why the UEFA Champions League anthem gives you goosebumps? Let's dive into the history and magic behind this iconic anthem. The UEFA Champions League anthem, officially titled Champions League, is composed by British composer Tony Britton. Back in 1992, UEFA wanted to rebrand the competition, aiming for a more prestigious and theatrical presentation. Britain took inspiration from George Friedrich Handel's Zedok the Priest, a piece famously used in British coronations. The anthem's lyrics are in three official UEFA languages, English, French and German. It kicks off with CE Son Les Meilleurs and Die Meister, translating to These are the Best and the Masters. The anthem is structured in three parts, the introduction, the main theme and the finale, each bringing its own unique flair. Now, let's get into why this anthem hits so hard. First off, it's played before every Champions League match, becoming synonymous with the highest level of European football. The grand orchestral arrangement and choral elements evoke a sense of ceremony and prestige. It's not just a song, it's an experience that sets the stage for epic showdowns between Europe's finest teams. But there's more. The anthem's powerful arrangement and historic roots in classical music give it a timeless quality. Over the years, it has become a symbol of aspiration. For players, hearing the anthem means they've reached the pinnacle of club football. For fans, it's a moment of pure excitement and anticipation. Interestingly, the anthem has transcended football matches. It's been performed by prestigious orchestras and even adapted into pop culture. From stadiums to living rooms, the anthem has a unifying power, connecting millions of fans worldwide. So next time you hear those opening chords, Take a moment to appreciate the rich history and grandeur encapsulated in just a few minutes of music. It's more than an anthem, it's the heartbeat of European football. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of football. Until next time, keep the passion alive.